welcome to the American Backpacker. My name is Andy. Today I'm in the Ocala National Forest here in Florida and I'm going to be doing an overnight trip starting here at the Pats Island Trailhead. So follow along as I prep my gear and hit the trail. Starting my trip here at the Pats Island Trailhead. And some bear scat on the trail. Off the trail a little bit, but uh, we got an open prairie here. Nice little scenic view. Nice uh, scenic video of the area. Still on the Florida Trail. Heading, uh, I guess, uh, more in a uh, north northwest direction. Still on the Florida Trail. Got a pond out there in the middle of the prairie. And you can see, probably not from the uh, camera view, but got a lot of uh, burnt trees uh, up ahead there. The uh, area around here is not uh, not unknown for fires to happen out here actually it's a very healthy thing the fires actually rebuild the ecosystem soil plants and even to a certain effect the animals that habitat the area the uh, I guess the short-term long-term benefits I guess are that the uh, system comes back healthier and stronger so again, it's not unusual to have fires. As a matter of fact, if a fire does erupt out here, usually uh, they don't even try to fight it. They just let it burn through. Hopefully that doesn't happen while I'm out here. That wouldn't be a good thing. See here on the trail that uh, there's a lot of white sand. A lot of this uh, sand acts as a good uh, filter when it does rain, which eventually all the water here permeates into the uh, aquifer. The trees around here, due to the sand, do not root deeply as you would find up north uh, a lot of that is in regards to this particular sand so a lot of the uh, trees here when they get large enough and top heavy and a good wind comes by a lot of them will uh, kind of uproot themselves again it's a very unique ecosystem Animals that uh, habitat here are uh, the black bear and the Florida panther. Florida black panther. Very rare, but they are out here. Not as plentiful as they were 100 years ago. But on some rare sightings, people do see them. And you can see some charred remains here of a tree that 
that was burnt. I went ahead and set up my base camp for tonight. I went about a little uh, over four miles, four and a half miles today on the Florida Trail. And I went ahead and pitched my camp over here in this open prairie next to the Florida Trail. As you can see, I have my uh, tent set up and uh, this is a Copper Spur UL3, three person tent made by Big Agnes. First time using it out here in the field and uh, I'll let you know how it is tomorrow morning when I wake up. It's a uh, dual sided entry, double door, one side here. And the other side right over here with the rain fly. It's a big tent. Uh, I prefer to have plenty of room inside. Uh, some two person tents aren't adequate enough for me. So I went ahead and decided I'd try this one out and we'll see how it is in the morning. I went ahead and uh, set up a fire pit away from the camp. There's no rocks out here uh, or no rocks accessible. So what I did is I, uh, dug out a, a little ditch there and I'll be burning the wood inside that ditch. What's nice about that is that when the fire is finished I'll be able to use that dirt to cover it back up and smother out the fire so we don't have any uh, forest fires here when I leave which wouldn't be good. And I went ahead and got some extra wood over there. Got a little pond over here and I can hear a uh, sounds like an alligator out there in that pond it's not uncommon for these ponds out here in Ocala to have alligators so gotta be wary of that I'm gonna go ahead and inflate the Sea to Summit air mattress that um, I did a review on earlier that's on the channel Seven breaths. Now do the other side. And the mattress is fully inflated. And you can see uh, both sides of the valves that I showed in my uh, video that I posted earlier on my channel. And we'll try it out tonight and see how it feels. I got my campfire going and I'm ready to have some chow. Got some wood on the side over there so hopefully I can keep it going for a little while. It's a nice evening. It's not cold. 
yet. Mountain House, white bean and chili. Pretty good. Lasagna is better. Good morning. Just woke up and uh, getting the uh, campsite organized, ready to have some chow. As you can see, there's a uh, morning mist here in the prairie. Sun's coming up. Have a little morning fire. Break the chill a little bit, and then, uh, of course, have some food. And uh, I had my stuff in the uh, bear canister. It's a BV450. It's about a um, three, four day canister. I set the uh, tent up where the sun rises in the east, so all this moisture on the tent will uh, burn off. I want to talk to you uh, briefly about uh, the tent that I used last night. And it's the Big Agnes UL3 Copper Spur. Tent's very roomy. This is a three person tent. And it has two doors, which makes it easy for individuals to enter and exit if they decide they uh, want to quickly in the evening or at night. Having two doors, especially if you have more than one person in that tent, is uh, great. That way you're not going over the individual at nighttime while they're sleeping. And this particular tent, as you can see, is very roomy. And I'm about 6'3", 235, so I like having a nice large tent. And in some situations, even a two-person tent is small for me. This also has pockets in each corner that you can stow stuff. If you need to in the evening. That way you have access to it and you're not looking for it on the uh, tent floor. So far the uh, tent has met my expectations and uh, looks like it'll be uh, a tent that I'll be utilizing in the future. I want to talk to you about camp placement. Where in the evening you decide to set your campsite up. And there's a few factors that you gotta take in consideration. The first being safety. You wanna make sure you put your camp or set your camp up in a safe area. And what I mean by that is, first you don't wanna set it up in some sort of flood zone And second, you want to make sure it's not around any type of tree that may fall on the campsite later on in the evening, injure or kill anyone. A few years ago, it was up north, not sure what state, there was a family that went camping and they set their tent up and later that evening a tree fell and tragically killed the father. So make sure that when you decide to set your camp up that you take into some considerations the area that you're in. Is it a flood zone? 
Are there trees that are going to possibly fall? Rocks, boulders. Um, always be aware of the surroundings. Um, different areas pose different hazards. So here in Ocala, um, the trees are a big issue. And I talked about that yesterday as I was hiking on the trails, that uh, a lot of them are damaged due to fire and uh, they do fall very easily. You also want to take into consideration having your campsite by a water source close by so you're not uh, traveling long distance. Again, situation dictates. I also like setting up my camp, uh, campsite where the sun rises in the morning and it shines on the tent or my campsite and burns off any chill, night chill that you may have had or any type of dew that may have uh, started on the tent as you can see on mine this morning when I woke up there was quite a bit of uh, moisture and a uh, sun is uh, slowly burning it off now and once it uh, burns off that dew I'll be able to pack up the tent and move on. Another factor uh, that you want to consider is your campfire. When you decide to make a campfire make sure that you Place it far enough away from the tent that it doesn't cause damage to the tent or possibly um, cause the tent to ignite. When you set up your campfire, uh, it depends on, again, the terrain and the location you're at. Here in Ocala, I was able to utilize that inexpensive plastic shovel and I was able to dig out the soft sand and make a little ditch so when I'm ready to leave I'm able to take the dirt that I set up around the berm there and throw it on the fire which will extinguish it and I won't have to worry about it causing a fire when I leave. As I discussed earlier I went ahead and dug out a little ditch here with a little dirt berm so what I'm going to do is just use my little inexpensive shovel that I purchased for like a dollar and I'm just going to bury the uh, dirt back in on the fire here. And there you go. I have the fire completely uh, extinguished and uh, this will eventually regenerate and uh, it's a good way, uh, the proper way to, to uh, put out a fire. Well, I'm all packed up and uh, ready to head back in to the trailhead. Um, it was a uh, good evening, uneventful good and uh, it's gonna be a nice day today so no rain expected no rain seen uh, one of the things I want to talk to you about when you come out to the uh, wilderness no matter where you go day hike overnight hike weekend week hike um, make sure you have the proper equipment with you um, and I guess what I mean by that is the safety equipment if something happens where you need help uh, you can signal for it uh, either electronically or using some mechanical device. For example, I have this whistle that I carry with me and I have it on this lanyard here that's on my um, harness.
harness here for my backpack. So if something happens where I see someone in the uh, surrounding area, I can whistle to them. Uh, the uh, wilderness has a way of uh, smothering out uh, noise in terms of you yelling and screaming. So a whistle usually kind of penetrates the, uh, the woods a lot better. Um, I also bring out a GPS, uh, which I use for navigation with the extra batteries. And I also have a satellite communicator, uh, which is a Delorum Explorer, which I'll talk to you about in an upcoming video. It's a good two-way communicating uh, satellite system where you can keep in touch with uh, friends and family back home and they can send you messages as well. Overall, it was a uh, good experience. I hope uh, you learned a little bit. Uh, Ocala is a uh, scenic. It is a beautiful place. It's different from uh, up north with the mountains, but um, I think if you came out here, you'd be able to enjoy the, uh, the environment. Stopping for a little break. I'm in an, uh, an area that you could see. I've seen some fire. Look at the uh, bark of this pine. And you could see all these uh, trees down around here that have uh, fallen over due to the damage. This is why you don't want to put your tent anywhere around trees like this because the chance or likelihood of it falling one evening is pretty good. Across this uh, snake skin on the trail. Not sure what type of snake, but uh, left its uh, skin here on the trail. Always be vigilant when you're walking on any trail, especially here in Florida. Finishing up the uh, trip, coming up to the parking area where my vehicle's at, and did a little over 12 miles. Good weather, nice campsite, and no major issues, which is a good thing.